On today's show, I have guest co-host Alex Ramon. Hello. From Richmond, California. <laughs> We're going to be talking magic. We're going to be talking magic. Richmond, California. Richmond, California. We're going to be talking the reggae festival, paddle boarding, and so much more. So you want to stay with us. Wake Up Tahoe starts right now. Coming to you from the 12th floor of the Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on the beautiful south shore of Lake Tahoe, this is Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. Wake Up Tahoe is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. It is Wednesday hump day. Big day here in Tahoe. And I'll tell you what, we finally got on my guest co-host today, Alex Ramon. Hello. Finally. I know. We've been a long time coming. We've been talking about this for a while now since you uh, started the show. Since I started the show, I've been promoing. Alex is going to be on the show tomorrow. No, the next day. No, the next tomorrow, day. Tomorrow, tomorrow. And your people was getting in touch with my person exactly. and my person <laughs> trying to my get to people. your people. And, you know, I had to go through New York and Afghanistan and all these places. Anyway, you finally got them here. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Do you know you have people not? in Afghanistan? I didn't know I had yeah. those people. You didn't do the show there the other no, day? It must no. have been a sequel. Hey, <laughs> glad to have Alex finally on the show. we got a ton to talk about with That's your right. show. Yeah. And uh, it's at the Horizon Casino Resort, but now they're going to rename it the Alex Ramon Casino Resort. <laughs> and not yet, not yet, not yet. Yeah, we're at the Horizon, and Illusion Fusion is the name of the show. We're now in our second year. We're coming up, or started our second summer here in Lake Tahoe. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We're actually selling out regularly, so I would advise anybody who's interested coming up to Tahoe to see Illusion Fusion, buy your tickets in advance because we sell out. It's so true. And we were talking about this the other day, and yeah. I, I heard the rumor that yeah. Alex Ramon has a 100% Yelp rating. Yes, right. Five star. That's correct. And I'm like, no way. Damn true. <laughs> That's true. It is amazing. And I mean, we, we are uh, number one on Yelp and TripAdvisor for the number one attraction here in Lake Tahoe. So it's pretty nice and it's pretty amazing to, to think that all the hard work is enjoyed by all the tourists and the locals here in Lake Tahoe. So if you guys are on your way up, check out the lake. It's beautiful. I love living here and being here. And now you get to see some magic at night with the whole family. And we're the only family show in Lake Tahoe. So Illusion Fusion at the Horizon. Six nights a week, every night but Wednesday. It's such a true experience. Experience. And I tell you what, when you first moved here, yeah, you know, Alex and I, you can't, I think we were like one of the first shows you ever came on was yeah, my show definitely. at the time, and we were talking about your show, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, we've all seen magic shows, <laughs> but no, you have never seen a magic show like this before. Yeah, you know what, the reason why we call it Illusion Fusion is because the illusions are fused with different elements in theater, so they're fused with magic, and they're fused with humor, and they're fused with audience partic participation and interaction, and so it's across the board with costuming and lighting and the, and the music choices, uh, it's just a really amazing entertainment value, and it really is a uh, modern day magic and illusion show. Yeah. And uh, I'm proud that uh, we're calling Tahoe home for a second year and uh, we'll be here through the rest of the year and all through the summer. So and I'm telling you, you're going to see Alex Ramon Casino Resort. <laughs> Shortly. It's going to be happening here anytime. <laughs> your, uh, your assistant, Megan, yes, uh -huh. she's fantastic. Yeah. You guys work so well together. And that's what's a neat part also is I've seen your show like, what, 15, 20 times, something like that, until you Probably. guys finally kicked me yeah. out and said, hey, exactly. <laughs> there's a limit here, sir. But, um, the cool part about it is everybody likes a different part of the show. Yeah. You know, most shows you go to like, oh, that really that was a really cool part. But no, everybody has it, their individual taste. No, ladies. you're absolutely right. And that's what's so amazing that for me, you know, I'm doing the show every night and we do change it. So people ask me, oh, is it the same show every night? No, it's no. not. It changes because my variable after doing Illusion Fusion nightly is the audience. So sometimes I will change the next routine or the next magic illusion based on the audience's reaction. And then, you know, you leave and you have... Guy saying, oh, Megan was my favorite part of the show. And I go, that was me. That was you. Yeah, exactly. That was my Yelp review. <laughs> I mean, we're friends and all, but you I, know. I get it. I get it. I get you it. You got to go with Megan. But then, uh, you know, then you have uh, people leaving the show saying, hey, when you had the kid up doing magic with you on stage, that was my favorite part. Right. Or this one really blew my mind. And it really is. It's always different. And uh, it's, it's, it's a great thing because people get to enjoy magic in a new way um, and new routines. And I'm actually very honored and, and proud to say that most of the magic and illusions that are in my show, Illusion Fusion, are original. And no other magician does them in the world. They're original to me. And the only way you can see them is by coming here to Lake Tahoe. you got to see the show. We're going to talk about your career. Because, right. I mean, you've been in this business longer than most people have been 
alive. <laughs> not, not quite. Otherwise, then I am aged very well. Thank yeah, you. he's aging very well. Modern medicine and magic does. Just, <laughs> he's actually 137 years old. But due to magic, you know, you can just right. keep yourself looking all exactly just fit and trim and good looking and eye makeup. Well, anyway, you. hey, we're going to talk about all your career coming up. But first sure. of all, we, Illusion Fusion again. That is every night besides Wednesday, eight o'clock at the Horizon Casino Resort, otherwise known as the Alex Ramon Casino Resort. Um, <laughs> live after Lakeview after party is going to be at Teps Villa Roma. You ever been to Teps Villa Roma? No, I haven't. Right across the street, right there on 50. Okay. So it's a little like, I don't know how you would call it, family style type restaurant. Okay. Ne- they're bringing all the live at Lakeview people back over. They're going to have their own little concert series going oh, on there. Nice. They got the best Oso Boso. I okay. don't know if you know about that stuff, mm-hmm. but it's Oso Buco, whatever. It's damn good. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say. So that, that's happening on arts and crafts shows everywhere. Yeah. Especially in the Horizon. The Horizon has arts and crafts. There's all those outdoor vendors. And even in Heavenly Village, they have some things. It's over amazing there too. what yeah. they come up with. They like take a piece of bark and turn it into artwork. I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. That's magic <laughs> to me. I don't know. I, and the Heavenly Village concert series is in full bloom as week five comes upon us. Island of Black and White, the hard rock battle of the band's winners will be on stage Friday night starting at 5 p.m. And then they're going to stick around for the reggae festival right. here at the Mont Bleu outdoor concert series at 7 o'clock. Alex Ramon in the studio finally. I'm here. Thanks, Seth. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Like Thank you. We're going to talk about his career coming up because you've been with a lot of very amazing entertainers. Ringling Brothers, Disney, Right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, talk about feeling inadequate. We'll take a quick break. <laughs> we'll be back. Take a look at some of Alex's work right now. In five, 
Hello, welcome back, and we're gonna throw to weather, but for my next trick, I'm going to turn Drew into a beautiful woman who's going to give you the weather, and... Good morning, Tahoe. Your weather today being brought to you by Getaway Reno Tahoe. The rain is gone. It's 76 degrees here in the mountains and sunny skies. We're going to raise up the temperature tomorrow to about 85, and the temperatures are going to increase through Sunday to the maybe 91 degrees. We don't know, but we're going to be going up, up, up. But we do know it's going to be cooler here than it is in the surrounding Reno and Sacramento area. So come on up, get your arm floats on, put on your swimsuits, and head to the beach. It's a beach day here in Tahoe. Welcome back to the show. The Osti Heelys are in full effect here at Mob Blue Resort Casino. They're all down there. All these guys. I like how they put up the course, like the cones, like, you know, they... they and, and then they only go five miles yeah. through them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like in first gear. Hold on, honey. You know, I want to get a little... Fill the G-forces here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're like creeping through the course. Well, then, you know, but they are fun to watch and, and or fun to look at. And, and they're all different kinds. And you just see the average uh, owner is about as old as the cars. Had this car since I was born. No kidding. <laughs> but hey, we thank them all for coming in. And Austin Healy's kind of remind yeah. me of the clown car, which uh, you were On Rainley Brothers Circus, man. You know, they're so little, but then yet 18 beep, beep. people can come out of there. Isn't that how it works? That's, that's how it works. It's still... a secret. It's a, it's a circus secret. Can't tell you about that. How see, that I told everybody yesterday, Alice is going to come on the show and just let out all of his secrets right here so that everybody's tuning in today he's saying, a liar <laughs> <laughs> but no tell us about Ringling Brothers that's pretty cool I, I loved it Ringling Brothers Barnum Bailey Circus I toured for two years as the ringmaster I was the uh, second youngest ringmaster in history and the very first magician to ever be the star of the show so they themed the entire circus around Magic and Illusions and myself and uh, it was an amazing experience uh, we performed in Madison Square Garden we performed Dang. in the Staples Center so some of the largest arenas in the country and uh, we did over 700 shows in the matter of less in two years and uh, it was great it was an amazing experience made elephant disappear did illusions with tigers you know so it's the big stuff you know and it was a lot of fun big stuff now big do, stuff. do you get where do you find a job like this like craigslist or, <laughs> i mean I, 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 uh, first off first of all let me put a disclaimer if any of you find a job <laughs> like this on craigslist <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, don't do it. All right. It's just don't a simple question. Proper. There's a lot of people out there. So, like, how do you get this? <laughs> well, job? normally, normally people go and run away with the circus. Oh, that's and fascinating. It was yeah. the opposite. The circus asked me to go run away with it. Uh, so I was touring with Disney at the time, and the producers of Ringling Brothers Barnum Bailey Circus saw me and knew me from the Disney production that I was in. And what they production approached was that, me. By the way, that was called Disney Live Mickey's Magic Show. Were you? And I was uh, touring. I, I know where you're going no, with no, this. I know. I know where you're go with this okay okay look i toured with disney for three years and uh i toured all over the world and it was a blast and we're doing illusions with uh with the disney character so i did right. an illusion on stage with mickey mouse and minnie mouse and princess jasmine and alice in wonderland and all those things and at the time and this is where he's going with this okay he's trying to do a little jab they disney wanted me to have long hair so i grew my hair out and it was long and curly and i know you guys are going to insert a photo in here oh, i know you're going to do it yes yes and i have really long curly like a jerry curl like oh yeah so Your glow, hair. so glow sprayed <laughs> exactly. all over. And so I had that for three years. And then the, the worst part about it is I had friends on tour with Disney that knew me just from Disney. And then when I left, I cut my hair and they're like, you look so different. I go, no, no, this is how I usually have it. <laughs> Short. Uh, but anyhow, so I was on that Disney production. And then Ringling Brothers Barnaby the Circus producers asked me, they said, hey, you know, we want to do a magic themed circus. What do you think? Do you want to be a part of it? I said, I'd love to. And, uh, and uh, that's what happened. So we opened a show. Uh, the show is called Zing Zang Zoom. And uh, I was 23 and, uh, again, had a, had a blast. I toured the country for two years on a Ring Brother circus train. The youngest. Second youngest, yes. I was Second 23, youngest. yeah. Jeez. How many elephants did you go through? Making all these elephants disappear. Like, <laughs> well, well uh, luckily, luckly, luckily uh, we well, reused them. Oh, so. you did. Recycle. <laughs> Recycle, exactly. See, I do but that we there, had, We had about 11 elephants. Um, 11 elephants on the circus with us. We had five zebras, 13 tigers, and of course, a cast of over 100 um, performing in this show. So wow. it was a very large production. We toured with 300 people at a time while we were on Ringling Brothers Circus. So, I mean, it's Great like moving experience. a town from city to city performing. They still put up the tents with elephants? Uh, yeah, they have they have the elephant compound where the the animals are out there, and uh, and it's great. I mean, I loved it. And then the issue arises, and I just have to make this note right now because people always ask about the treatment of the animals. I can tell you from personal experience, I toured with them for two years. I never saw any animal mistreated. Uh, they always got the utmost um, top care. They have veterinaries um, on staff 24/7, and um, I can only say from my experience, I've never seen them mistreated. They're fantastic. Well, that's what I tell everybody. I mean, the elephants they get the sweets. Exactly. The you guys are 
actually go outside with a crocodile. <laughs> no, crocodile. That's how he works, isn't it? It's kind of like that, yeah. yeah. Alex wakes up off, off the bed of hay and whatnot. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to see a magic trick from Alex coming up here momentarily. But first of all, we already hit the uh, Heavenly Outdoor Concert Series. Race the Lake of the Sky in town yeah. starting Friday night. Yeah. Big paddleboard race. That's going to be cool. I'm excited. Can I you make me see. magically go faster That would be cheating. Oh, dang it. I, I thought I could start that. and then all of a sudden Alex could flip me like an Emerald I, Bay and back. Yeah, exactly. I could be like, winner! You know what I'm if saying? you're going to Emerald Bay and back, no, you're not. 14 miles. 14 These miles? These guys are going to start from El Dorado Beach, go all the way around Emerald Bay, proclaimed as one of the most beautiful wow. stand-up paddleboard races ever. So, of I mean, course. it's going to be fantastic. I mean, what, th there isn't a better or more beautiful location to do it. Isn't that true? It really is true. So, but if you um, want, come to El Dorado Beach because they're going to have Best Sweet Move Contest where people like do yeah. all these crazy stunts, backflips, and twists. On the paddleboard. Pa on paddleboard. Wow. So there's like a $200 cash prize for that. They're going to have nice. the SUP relay where you get four of your friends. Right. And after a few cocktails, you guys charge each other, and there's <laughs> collisions and wrecks and lucky bars. Like jousting on a... Very uh, much okay, so. It's okay, like, there you go. All right. Anything goes, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And then they have sort of the kids race, and that's what's oh, that's really cool. Be fun. Get a bunch of kids out there charging the water. So that's all happening this weekend, Saturday and nice. Sunday at El Dorado Beach. All kinds of vendors are going to be out there. Maui Gym, so you can get your sunglasses on. Yeah, I don't know if any makeup places are going to be out there for us, you know? You know? Yeah, but sun, I, sunscreen. Sunscreen. That way I get I'm gonna get I get dark if I'm in the sun. I have to wear sunscreen. I wear <laughs> I, I I carry around in the summer an umbrella, so I'm one of those guys. Like it's it's like I'll get black and I'm like just dark and I was like, I just need to be out of the sun. Out of the sun. <laughs> so I don't like it. I don't like it. Alex Ramon from Richmond, California. Rich what? Rich, rich what? Richmond. Richmond. On the show today, we're going to see one of his illusions coming up. Stay That's with right. us. We're going to go out there right now to Island of Black and White, which will per be premiering in the Heavenly Village on Friday at 5 o'clock. Plus, Alex also appears in the village as well. So we're going right. to talk that more and more coming up right after this.
Welcome back to the show. Like I said, Island of Black and White, Friday night, 5 p.m. Then you can catch up at the Reggae Festival, which a good friend of yours yes. and eyes is putting on here at Mont Blue. That's right. Paul Reeder is producer of the Mont Blue uh, Reggae Festival. I say Lake Tahoe. I say Mont Blue. It's going to be here at Mont Blue, but the Lake Tahoe Reggae Festival. And you know what? That's going to be really cool. I mean, Paul's been talking about this yeah. for a long time. He put a lot of work into making this happen. There's going to be a lot of bands. How many bands is it? It's like six. Six. I was going to say like eight or six. Six is there. That's amazing. A lot of bands, a lot of fun. Check it out. Starts at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Day, so get your reggae on with that. But yeah. Alex Ramon's going to show us an illusion. We're just talking about, first of all, though, the Austin Healy. We're watching these things <laughs> out the window right now. They're, they're in a course. They're in a the, course. They are in a closed course. Closed course. You know, yeah, this is a closed, closed course. course. Do not try this at home. And the, the guy's driving, and you see the I, wife in the passenger. Slow down! <laughs> they're going about, they're going about going like, you know, six and a half miles an hour. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That's pushing it. I was like, I can walk faster yeah. than this, but you know, they're still pretty to look at it. So the course is about mm, 30 yards long, and <laughs> yeah, the first car just made it through since we started the show today. That's so. right, exactly. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> we have, with a, with a stunning time of 22 minutes, 30 yards, and 22 minutes. And the wife gets out at the end, I'm never right with you again, you're on your own. <laughs> Don't you love that part? You, you could drive like that, I'm staying home. <laughs> anyway, risk takers, <laughs> risk takers. <laughs> Alex Ramon, we're going to talk, first of all, about a lot of your illusions that you do with sure. the show because mm-hmm. I know a lot of people are wondering like okay you're talking about how amazing you are everybody's <laughs> Alex Rosen's amazing he got a 100% Yelp review All right. they're going to name a casino after him <laughs> I mean Yes, they're actually carving out a, a statue of you right now in the Heavenly Village. Yeah, why you aren't you working on that right now? I just, I'm should. taking a little break. Okay, okay. Come on You should now. be back out there. I had to do Mount Rushmore. Now they have exactly. me doing Alex <laughs> Ramon statue in the Heavenly Village. But you can do a little performance there, too. Yeah, actually, Heavenly Village, uh, every day but Wednesdays, we're out there at 2 p.m. in Heavenly Village uh, doing uh, PR shows, little mini magic shows, and we give tickets away to Illusion Fusion, which is pretty cool because, as I said earlier, we sell out regularly. So sometimes those tickets are the only two tickets given away for the performance. So you have to check those shows out in Heavenly Village, 2 p.m. every day but Wednesday. I'm doing the American Idol. You know how they always oh, do yeah, that? They, oh, yeah, yeah. Vote number two. Number yeah, two. Number two. Hey, yeah. show us your illusion. All right, want to see a trick? Yes, now, I this do. pretty cool. Now, this is a pretty easy trick. You can use this two pieces of rope, and I use them, have two different colors. That way you can distinguish one from the other. Now, we have this white piece of rope, and I'm going to tie a knot, and I'm going to have you hold on to this, okay? I love this trick. Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't figured it out. I've seen it 300 no, times. No, 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 no. Hold on to that. Hold on to it. <clears throat> hold it up high. Hold it up high. So you have that, uh, you have that rope with a knot in it, and I have another red rope, okay? Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the rope, we're gonna spin them together. Let's try to do it sitting down. There we go. All right, now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the rope here, and the knot is gonna jump from one rope to the other. So we have that white knot on the, on the white rope, and now. <laughs> <laughs> the now white knot has this. now jumped to the red rope, but that's not the amazing part. The most amazing part the show is called Illusion Fusion. When you do a little magic, the white knot on the red rope actually not only jumps, but it magically fuses, welds onto the red rope. Adra's jaw's on the ground right now. Check it out. See that, Adra? <laughs> she said her. I think you have a new love. Are, are you dating? Mwah. Are you dating? There because you Adra's go. like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I figured again, that out. <laughs> 100%, 100% Yelp review rating because guys, of that stuff right there. Don't try that at home. No, don't try that. Okay. You can, yeah. So tell us what your, what your mom told us when uh, you said you wanted to be a magi- magician. In you know life. what? Is that everything? Is that you like, know, sh- good? What, I mean, that's yeah. what's cool is that a lot of times, I mean, can you imagine some parents, if their kids said, I want to be a magician, I want to do magic, they'd go, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. My parents were 100% supportive of me, both my mom and my dad, and uh, that made it very easy to uh, have that. Uh, they had the confidence in me. They had the, the approval of saying, hey, go do it if you love it. And again, magic began as my hobby, and it grew into a career uh, that has now brought me to Lake Tahoe, took me all over the world and brought me to Lake Tahoe to call home. So I, I'm loving it here. And then my sister also is in show business. She's a trapeze artist in Las Vegas with Cirque du Soleil. I've so been tweeting her my, every day. She's just I'll get out of here. Been, every day, every day. But, uh, you know, so my parents both have the, you know, their kids in show business, which is a pretty cool thing. And my mom loves it. My dad loves it because they have, like, front row seats, like, every, every time. I sat with your mom before. She's like, yeah, you did. <laughs> Alex is performing. Watch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's great. I'm like, Miss, you know, would, would you like something to drink? Oh, sh- Alex is performing. 
Yeah, she's fantastic. Exactly. Great to have that it. support. Exactly. And other uh, illusions you may see at the show? Uh, I have an illusion with an iPad, but I don't want to tell you all about it because people don't trust magicians. Do you trust me? <laughs> Where do you think I got my iPad? Exactly. <laughs> so uh, basically, actually, I have an app on the iPad, and you guys can search on the app store or whatever. There's, a, there's a I, the lie detector app on the iPad. And what I do is I uh, tell the, the audience, I say, I'm going to use this lie detector app to make sure that I'm always telling the truth because no one trusts a magician anyways. Never. So I do an illusion with this, uh, with this app going and running that way you know that I'm trustworthy and you can trust me. They don't even trust me. I trust you. Thank you. I trust you. I've always one, guy, you. one guy in all Lake Tahoe. And then the okay. ring trick is phenomenal. That's right. So we go to, uh, go to Illusion Fusion and I might need to borrow something of value from somebody and then uh, do a little illusion with it. But you have to trust me. I will give it back. But we're not going to give it away. You have to come see Illusion Fusion. Hey, how do people find you? Uh, you can find us on uh, tickets are available on ticketfly.com or right off our Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash Illusion Fusion. Tickets are available right off the Facebook fan page. You click that link and find out information about me on alexramonemagic.com. Highly encourage it. And then you tonight, give it back to the community a little bit. Yeah. You've done a lot of my events for me. Yeah. Comes out, performs in front of the kids. I think that's absolutely an amazing piece because yeah. a lot of the performances that they're going to name casinos after and bronze statues, you never <laughs> see them except for on stage. But you're yeah. out in the public. You're yeah. contributing. Tonight, you have and an tonight, event. tonight, we're doing a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club of South Lake Tahoe. So we're doing a nice fundraiser and a benefit show at Lake Tahoe at the Tahoe Bowl. The bowling alley is going to be a lot of fun and it's a good cause. So. Any parents come to you afterwards and say, can you imagine? make my kids behave usually it's the mom saying can you make my husband disappear <laughs> <laughs> alex ramon we're gonna take another break we're gonna go out to massive sun valley idaho where you've been yeah i love sun valley idaho i performed there it was great nice nice beautiful location it's good i mean like Tahoe's nicer but sun valley's great too <laughs> <laughs> we're just saying we're kind of biased here but they're gonna have a big old music festival going out there adriel will be out there Gathering all kinds of interviews yeah. and stuff. It's, here's, it's beautiful. I love it. I here's love a look it. at it right now. When we come back, it'll be cooking day. Adrian will be on set with Alex mm. and I. We'll be whipping up something. You never know what Adrian's going to cook up. I don't know. It's all usually magic potions. At least I get to eat. I'm eating today. Well, all right. We'll see. Later. Okay, we'll see how okay, it goes. Okay, let's see how it goes. We'll be back. <laughs>
Watch out, kids! <laughs> You kill my cow. Welcome back to the show. It's cooking day. Alex, that's oh, my right. cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Adrian's on set with us now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What are we doing today? Well, we are making canapes with cucumbers. Canapes and with cucumbers. It, yeah. Uh, the origin? Can I get the origin, Explains. please? It's a French word. It uh -huh. pretty much means a one to two bite appetizer or hors d'oeuvre, which is typically made with a, some sort of a breaded base and then a savory spread. So instead of using the bread or the whatever you just said, mm -hmm. we're using cucumber. <laughs> we're using cucumber as our base. <laughs> That's a better and base anyway, don't you? Exactly. Think? Chips base. always dig the cucumber over. They dig it, all right. All right. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> this is going to be um, something that we're calling the... People are going to come to your house out of the blue, and mm -hmm. you need to feed them something, and you think, hmm, what all do I have in my refrigerator, and how can I make it look great? So once you assemble all these with different types of items, you can put them out, and they look amazing, and people are eating them. They're not getting right. too many carbs. Right. Carbs are bad. Carbs That's are good. bad. You're so conscious now, so that way it's can't good to have any you carbs. You can't keep a physique like this with carbs. Right. Thank you very much. Of course, yesterday, <laughs> Drew was showing me how if I just carried... <laughs> Ramon with me all the time that whenever I go to eat something it would just disappear yeah. <laughs> and then I go to eat it would just disappear and then I would be my perfect diet it's so brilliant. I can't always exactly. have him so I'll take the cucumber all right, I kind of put you on the spot there Alex <laughs> I know <laughs> so let's get You're into outsourcing this. me I was I was trying okay. you know just a different career path okay. so what we did was we kind of went through the refrigerator and cabinet cupboards okay. and we decided that we had some hummus hummus, hummus. so I we love grabbed hummus. some spicy hummus we have some horseradish spicy mustard we have sriracha and then we also have a light mayonnaise um, with very low calories so you don't need to use that many and what we can do is we can actually take that and we can mix any of these ingredients besides the hummus into that so you could mix that up with the all horseradish right. why don't you mix the horseradish mix up with the horseradish yeah all right and you can also now how much that. horseradish should i put in here just as much as i want oh, or that's go good right whatever or you more? want it i like matter. horseradish let's put right. some let's put some good radish right, we'll we'll probably, put like that and then yeah, based upon go. some of the other things that we have we found black olives radishes green onions carrots Jalapeno peppers, banana yellow peppers, red onions, and we want to cut them in spinach, small, and pickle. And we want to cut them in small pieces so that way they fit on top of the yes of the but cucumber. You, gosh, emerald. <laughs> so what I will have is emerald Ramon. You can use this without oh, it making good. it look fancy. But Drew is actually going to take a fork and a cucumber and he's gonna just scour the side. And what's this do? It makes it have ridges, so it looks like you oh. know what you're doing. So a it's like ambient. It's oh. like a, a ambient. Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Thank you. Thank aesthetic you. ambient. As but if Drew's doing this, make sure you have glasses. Always wear doesn't... safety glasses. Okay, look, and then Drew, good. you go ahead and you cut me some slices. All right, and slices, slices. Make them thick enough that they can be um, s stable to hold your toppings, but not right. too big that then it's not one to two bites. We use a lot of head. cucumber on the show. We do use a lot of cucumber on okay, this. Okay, so th is that good? Uh huh. There we mm. go. I want one. I want I'll one. lay them out. Want some hummus on that? Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Is well, a little more. Okay. Well, usually well, we're not done yet. We have to put the things on it. Right, now. Usually what you do is you make yours first. They're like little pizzas. So well, here's what you can do. Okay. Right. Now that you have your idea, you mm -hmm. need to put something that's gooey onto it next. Gooey. Okay. So that would be the gooeyness that's going to then hold 
say olives, sweet? carrots, pickle, radishes, so spinach, that, or whatever. And then they make almost like a little, and then you make it as cute as you want. So that mayonnaise horseradish that I just mixed up, I'm gonna put on this cucumber. That looks good. And then put uh, maybe some olives, I like olives. Yeah, olives are good, carrot. One of the carrot. things that's really good to do is to take wasabi, put it on there mm -hmm. and put a piece of salmon or a piece of um, fish or something of a protein on there. You can use egg and dill. A lot of people use a dill cucumber, and that looks amazing. Does that Boy. look okay? I put, Ramon. put a little, um, Olive, carrot, and pickle. And I'm going to use then, radish. So this is and a I carrot. Kinda, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, my style isn't to take two bites. I'm just going to do the whole thing. <laughs> do it all. You, know? you do it all. No, you Even know. though it's one to two bite hors d'oeuvre. You one should bite. cut it in half, though, if you are a... Yeah. There you go. Because like, this is French, right? Well... Mm. French bites. Are they gold? Are they gold? Really? We can make this ourselves, you know? Not really good. Some onion, some sriracha, a yellow pepper. No. Um, black olive and what you do is then you set these out and when your guests come you have a whole bunch of little very appeasing lots of different colors greens and yeah. they're not bad for you they're actually very good and so instead of having a big salad that's sitting out and then having to have plates and forks you can actually have this sitting out and guests can just pick them up and have a napkin and then they can enjoy um, Eating on something light and summery that's and healthy. good for you. And healthy. And healthy. And, hey, and healthy. Little snacks that are, are healthy. You ever had a wasabi eating contest? No. <laughs> we tried to do that once in college. Ended up with a couple of hospital visits, but I was gonna say, uh, sriracha eating contest would be fun. Yeah. Well, when kid burns his out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, you funny. don't have to worry about doing that with I don't this. Have to okay. that. So put some. Hey, this is fabulous. Yeah, and what's kind of cool too is, is you can make on. you can make and put your different toppings on there so they all look different. So aesthetically, it looks nice too. It Very does. Good. And if you really wanted to, what you could do is you could go ahead and um, cut your cucumber really. <clears throat> Really, really, really thin, and I can't, can't do it at this angle very easily. <laughs> but what you do is you cut it really, really thin, okay. and then what you could do, if this was the whole piece, is you could roll it up all um, like a taco, all exciting like, and Ooh. then you could top your with more cucumber. And so there's different ways you can. If we wanted to, we could go into how to make carrot roses and all kinds of things, and that's for another show. I've got all that in the back <laughs> pocket. That's I'm gonna good do it. What are these called again? Canapes. 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 WakeUpTahoe.com is where you can follow, find it, or just go to our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash WakeUpTahoe. Alex Ramon, thank you so much for being on the show. Catch the show nightly, 8 p.m. That's it. Though. Thank yes. you for feeding me. We could serve <laughs> this at your show. Exactly. You know? That's how we it's pay for our ticket. We have to stand yeah. out there and pass hors d'oeuvres before it let us in. <laughs> there you go. We'll be back on the show tomorrow morning. Back here in the same studio. Then Friday, we're so, actually going to be. Unless we magically are at the horizon. Well, we could be at the Alice Ramon <laughs> Casino Resort. But Friday, we will be on location at El Dorado Beach, home of Race the Lake of the Sky. We'll have a bunch of the athletes on the show talking with event. them. It's going to be a event. lot of fun. Catch Alice's show at 2 p.m. in the Henley Village or 8 p.m. nightly, excluding Wednesdays. Thanks, y'all, for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Pate. Pate? No, that's different. Oh, I don't want this one. This one. You put onion on that sucker.